Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the second and last term for President Uhuru Kenyatta in office is coming to an end. And seemingly, most of his cabinet secretaries might go home with President Uhuru Kenyatta because William Samuel Ruto has his new team that he is coming with to the office. And in as much this is going on, the CS for tourism, Najib Balala, has finally come out openly to ask for employment or appointment in the present elect William Samuel Ruto's government once he formed the next government. Because handing over is going to happen soon and Ruto will need to come in with his team. So Najib Balala is a man looking for the job. And uh, in a several of the posts Najib Balala uh, had posted earlier, already suggested that Najib Balala is a man who is looking for appointment in William Ruto's government. And the question is, will William Samuel Ruto accept Najib Balala in his government? That is what we want to look into. But we just want to check on some of the posts that Najib Balala did sometimes earlier. <clears throat> Now, four days ago, this is what Najib Balala posted immediately after the Supreme Court and pronounced it itself. A message of congratulation to Kenyan Supreme Court and the Kenya people. On election day, the Kenyan people demonstrated their democratic will on the ballot and after the presidential result announcement, they decided to resolve the dispute raised in the peaceful litigious manner as guided by our constitution. Kenyan judiciary has raised the bar not just in Africa but globally. It has demonstrated its independence from both the executive and the legislature and the legislative government branches. Now that now that the will of the people has been upheld, we look forward to strong and transformative leadership under President Dr. William Ruto and his deputy Gabi Gachagwa. God be with you and God bless Kenya. That was the message from Najib Balala to William Samuel Ruto. Now after this, Najib Balala was kind of trying to launch his performance in sector of tourism. This is what he did 13 hours ago from the time I'm recording this. And they posted this Kenya Tourism Sector Performance Report, January, August 2022, Magical Kenya. That's hashtag. So you can see he's explaining how he has been able to perform. And while he was explaining this, Najib Balala went on to suggest that he is, he is one man looking for a job in the William Ruto's government. And this is what the nation uh, posted, uh, have uh, published. Banala, I am ready to serve Ruto to finish work I started. That is the headline. And according to the nation, this is what Najib Banala said, I'm happy and humble and I, am, I thank President Kenyatta for giving me the chance to serve the nation and I welcome President Ruto and I am ready to serve, his, to serve him in his government whenever it's necessary, whenever it's necessary. Again, he went on to say that, I acknowledge by, the, by Tuesday we will, we, will cede, we will cease being minister because Uhuru's government will cease on Tuesday and the Ruto's government will start and that is the time when we might be called to stay until the new appointments take over or we will be told to go home and wait to hand over Mr. Balala. So already he knows what is going to happen and he's saying he needs a chance to serve Kenyans in the next government so that he can accomplish what he did not accomplish. But there is suggesting evidence that Najib Balala is unwelcomed guest in William Ruto's government. Oscar Sude, 
There is something he has posted. And remember, when Oscar Sudi does this, you should know William Ruto is communicating. Because Oscar Sudi is one man who has severely communicated what Ruto would wish to say, but he cannot say because of his position. And there's a video Oscar Sudi has shared reminding Najib Balala of what he said earlier, which suggests that he might not be welcomed. Least we forget what this video should be. I'm going to be right. I'm going to stand with what is right. These side shows of nobody has appointed me. It's only Uhuru Kinyata who has appointed me. So they can go to hell. I can tell them that. Yeah? So I don't want to comment about rhinos now, but I can tell them to go to hell. Uhuru Kinyata is the only one who has appointed me here. And he knows I have the capacity to run the wildlife docket. And nobody is going to intimidate me. I'm going to do what is right. And this is an agenda they want to destroy KWS so they can be able to take over these parks and start using emotions. Now we are continuing with the final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed, so my humble request. Please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and the end of the comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, for those who remember, before the emerge of Ali Hassan Joho, the immediate former governor of Mombasa County, uh, Najib Balala was a man to watch in the coast region. For those who remember when Raila was forming his team, which comprised of William Ruto, Musadi Mudavadi, Najib Balala and others, Balala was a kingpin in the coast region. But he lost somewhere, and in that loss, he provided an opportunity for someone like Governor Joho, who has just finished his term, and the king to emerge. So, in as much Najib Balala went down politically, he has managed to survive throughout for more than 20 years. That means Najib Balala has served in two regimes, like Baki and Uhuru Kenyatta. And in fact, in four elections, he has been able to survive. But will he survive? Having heard what Oscar Sud has shared, reminding Najib Balala on how he was harsh on William Samoy Ruto, because he was there as a tourist sector, <clears throat> he served in tourism as a CS in 2015 to 2022, just latest. Then he was also a minister for gender, sport and culture, and the social service for from 2003 to 2004. Again, he was a minister for tourism in 2008 to 2012. Then a minister for sports, uh, a minister for, yeah, tourism, that's the last one. So in a span of 20 years, he has been able to serve in different governments. So in as much he did not remain a kingpin, he decided to now look for a job in every government that will be formed. But in as much he was doing this, the truth of the matter is that he politically went down. Right now, you cannot choose Najib Banala as a man to help you in any campaign within coast region. I don't think if there is anyone who can listen to him. What Oscar Sudi is telling Najib Banala is that they are ready to revenge on everyone who was against William Samway Ruto. Because of that, Najib Banala has no chance. Someone will be confused that Oscar Sudi is saying so because they want to give job to the hustlers. The truth of the matter is that there are people who have been providing the resources, the logistic for William Samuel Ruto's campaign to make it possible. Kuna watu wale peana roli sizao, kuna watu wale peana their system, kuna watu they were fueling these cars. They did so many things to make sure that Ruto is succeeding. The truth of the matter is that it is not a hassle who is going to be rewarded in William Ruto's cabinet. It is those people who remove their resources, 
those people who gave their time and those people who were there to provide every needed logistic to make sure that Ruto campaign is succeeding. What were they magari? They needed their reward. Come and attend us. I'm positions, appointments. Those are the people who are going to be rewarded in this government. Not Hasla and not anyone who did not help William Samuel Ruto to win. Not even those who criticized William Samuel Ruto. So Najib Balala is falling into that group of the people who criticized William Ruto. They did not provide their resources to help Ruto in his campaign and they were against William Ruto's leadership. So if Najib Balala is looking for a job, he should stop begging from William Ruto because through Oscar Sudi, Ruto has communicated no job for Najib Balala. <laughs> and Balala, I can say, is playing kind of a, you know, watermelon politics. You are going, you are not going. You are decided, you are undecided. Yani, hauna mbele, wala mukia is a kind of a mongrel politician. You cannot tell which direction is heading to. It's like you are putting your bet everywhere on William Ruto's side and the President Uru Mineta's side, on Raila Odinga's side and William Ruto's side. So that whoever will succeed, they will end up appointing you in their government. But it's like in this government, they are not welcome. I can assure you that most of the people who have worked with the President Uru Kenyatta they could get a chance to serve in this government, in the upcoming government, if Raila Molo Odinga was going to win this election. But as long as Raila Odinga did not win according to Jebukati and what the court have pronounced themselves to, that means it is the president elect William Samuel Ruto who is going to be the fifth president and a man who is going to form the government. So those who have been working closely with President Uru Kenyatta will be shown the door. It is time to revenge, it is time to teach them a lesson, in fact a political lesson, and it is time to tell them that it's a new regime in power and they do not support him, so they have to suffer the fate. So, kuna mambo ingine kuangazea hapo? Najib Balala hana kazi na astrajia kazi oyote kwa serikali ya William Samway Ruto. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.